sir. May I'd like to call the regular meeting of the Elmer Park Mayor and Council to order for May 6, 2010. On roll call, Council Members Kedamanya? Here. Castiglia? Here. Councilman Trewinski is absent. He called and indicated that he was running late. Monsino? Here. Work? Here. Convoy? Here. Mayor Mola? Here. We Will everyone farm. please rise for a prayer and flag salute? Oh God, our Father, we ask you to bless our meeting with your trustee, fatherly care, and protection. Please remove all suffering. The King Justice for you, great love for you and our neighbor. Guide us in our deliberations so our decisions will always please you and bring peace and happiness to our community. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Angela, we have anybody else still coming? Ang Angelo. They'll be here shortly? Okay. It's not writing very well. Okay, Mr. Casbon. Statement by the presiding officer. Yes, sir. <laughs> Whereas Chapter 231 of Public Law State of New Jersey requires that the commencement of each meeting is taken by the designing officer. Now, therefore, be advised this meeting requirements have been met by posting an annual notice in the record of Hackensack and the Herald News of West uh, uh, Midland, uh, Woodland, Park. Woodland Park. I don't have West Patterson. Now. And by posting such notice in the office of the borough clerk as well in the public place within the municipal building and by notifying interested citizens. Said notice was posted on January 1, 2010. Ladies and gentlemen, this meeting is going to is going to be taped. It is taped, and it'll be on channel 77, Monday at 12 noon, Wednesday at 3 p.m., and Thursday at 3 p.m. Or you can watch it on our website, www.elmwoodparknj.us. Okay, thank you. Mayor, first on the agenda this evening, we have the approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of April 15, 2010. Special, special budget work meeting of April 20th, 2010, the special public meeting of April 22nd, 2010, and the executive session of April 22nd, 2010. Motion, please. So moved. Moved, moved by Mr. Mr. Work or Mr. Convoy? Convoy. Convoy. Convoy and Mr. Stigley, a discussion? Call a roll, please, for all four. On roll, call council members Katamania. Here. Yes. Yes. Castiglia? Yes. Trowinski is absent. Moncino? Yes. Work? Uh, yes, with the exception of the meeting on April 15th, I was not in attendance. Convoy? Yes. Motion carries. May I under ordinances this evening? Uh, we have resolution 117-10, ordinance number 10-09 on second reading. Whereas public notice has been given by the borough clerk, it's entitled the ordinance to amend the code of borough of Elmwood Park, Chapter 2 for entitled administration, and whereas said ordinance was introduced and passed at the meeting held on April 15, 2010, and further consideration of this ordinance would be taken up at this meeting, and whereas all persons interested in said ordinance were given the opportunity to be heard concerning same. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend the code of the Borough of Elmwood Park, Chapter 2, for entitled administration, passed on final reading. May we need a motion to open to the public. Motion, please, to open the public. So move. Mr. Boncino, Mr. Convoy, any All in favor? Aye. Opposed, so ordered. Uh, anyone in the audience who wishes to uh, speak on this ordinance, what this ordinance does is to uh, uh, give the, uh, the clerk uh, some administrative that have been here for many, many years, but it's now authorizing him to do that. Okay, anyone wish to speak on it? If not, I'll close the public portion of the meeting. May I have a motion to to approve the ordinance. So moved. Mr. Second. Mr. Second. Mr. Convoy and Mr. Work, discussion? Call a roll, please. On roll call, council members, Catamania? Yes. Castiglia? Yes. Trewinski? Yes. Moncino? Yes. Work? Yes. Convoy? Yes. Motion carries. Resolution 118-10, introduce ordinance 10-10 on second reading. Whereas public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend the code of the borough of Elmwood Park by amending the area titled zoning and site plan review 
by adding, in order, or adding to Ordinance 34-7 a new use which shall be prohibited in all zones. And whereas said ordinance was introduced and passed at a meeting held on Thursday, April 22, 2010, and that further consideration of this ordinance would be taken up at this meeting. And whereas all persons interested in the ordinance were given the opportunity to be heard concerning same. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Borough Council of the Borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend the Code of the Borough of Elmwood Park by amending Chapter titled Zoning and Site Plan Review by adding Ordinance 34-7, a new ordinance which shall be prohibited in all zones, pass on final reading. Motion, please, to open to the public. So moved. Mr. Second. Convoy, Mr. Second. Castiglia, discussion? Mr. Clerk, uh, Mr. Attorney, you want to elaborate on this ordinance? Uh, uh, this ordinance makes it clear uh, that a massage parlor is not a permitted use anywhere in uh, the borough of Elmwood Park, which um, was not clear before, I believe it was a prohibited use, but it wasn't specifically set forth in the ordinances that it was prohibited, so this just clears that out. Is there anyone, thank you, is there anyone who wishes to speak on that ordinance? If not, I'll close the public portion of the meeting. May I have a motion to approve, please? So moved. Second. second. Moved by Mr. Convoy, second by Mr. Boncino. Discussion? Call the roll, please. On roll call to adopt, Council Member Catamania? Yes. Castiglia? Yes. Chawinski? Yes. Boncino? Yes. Work? Yes. Convoy? Yes. Motion is adopted. Uh, Mayor, at this time, would we like to move to resolution 131-10? I think we can do the consent calendar and then go right okay. down here. Uh, Mayor, tonight, under the consent agenda, we have resolution 119-10, payment of bills. Resolution 120-10, confirmation of checks. Resolution 121-10, confirmation of payroll. Resolution 122-10, authorized application for the 2009 recycling tonnage grant. Resolution 123-10, authorized tax reimbursement certification for recycling tonnage grant. Resolution 124-10, approved VFW post 5084 to sell buddy poppies during the month of May. Resolution 125-10, appoint volunteer fire, firefighter Harrison W. Werner. Resolution 126-10, appoint volunteer firefighter John J. Taylor. Resolution 127-10, refund overpayment of taxes from excess payment of HSBC. Resolution 128-10, refund third-party tax lien for Robert Del Vecchio Pension Trust. Resolution 129-10, refund third-party tax lien for Amico. And Resolution 130-10, approve retail distribution liquor license transfer for the Boulevard Liquor Corp to the Boulevard Diner Corp. And Mayor, if I may know, that's only a name change um, with regard to that liquor license. The owner will remain the same. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, these resolutions are, are almost automatic resolutions that just uh, clean up. We have to do them, so there's nothing specific about it that uh, we shouldn't vote, and everybody will vote on these uh, in the consent. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Mr. Second. Convoy, Mr. Castiglia, discussion? Call the roll, please. On roll call on the consent agenda, Council Members Catamani? Yes. Castiglia? Yes. Chawinski? Yes. Oncino? Yes. Work? Yes. Convoy? Yes. Motion on the consent agenda passes. Under resolutions this evening, we have resolution 131-10. Be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Elmwood Park that Fire Prevention Specialist Pompey Diarco be and is hereby appointed as Fire Official, Civil Service Title Municipal Department Head 05895 of the Fire Prevention Bureau in a provisional status at an hourly rate of $17 per hour. Motion, please. So moved. Second. Second. Mr. Chulinski and Mr. Castiglia. Uh, discussion? Call the roll, please. On roll call, Council Members Catamania? Yes. Castiglia? Yes. Truinski? Yes. Poncino? Yes. Work? Yes. Convoy? Yes. Motion carries. At this time, I would like to ask Mr. DiArco and his family to come up. I'd like to swear them in. Also at the swearing in, I would like to ask our outgoing fire official, Mr. Jack McGrath, to come up at the swearing in so he can uh, tell Pompey which, uh, which hand to hold up. And he's been doing that for how many years? Only teasing, Pompey.
Mrs. DiArco, would you please, Madeline, would you hold the Bible with Jack? And let me have the two children here, please. Lily, Lily right here. Juliana. And Juliana. Okay, you stand right here. Julia, Lily right here. Okay, can you see over that? There's, there's the camera so that you can watch it on TV, okay? All right? Left hand on the Bible and raise your right. Yes, raise your right. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I repeat your name, please. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state. Under the, authority of the people. under the authority of the people, and I will faithfully, I will faithfully impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform the duties of the office of, the of, the office of fire, fire, fire official, according to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me, God. help me God. I know you do it. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Nice job, girls. Yeah, that's fine. You can stay here, Pump. At this, at this time, I have a certificate that I would like to present to uh, Mr. Jack McGrath, who's been our fire official for 15 years. He's been a member of the fire department for 57 years. Has been chief, or was chief. How's this? Was, was chief, let's try again, there we go, was chief 1970 to 72, and Mr. McGrath is the last fire chief to have a full term as fire chief of East Patterson. 1973, we changed the name to Elmwood Park. And we started a new fire chief with uh, Elmwood Park. So Jack has that. And uh, we thank him very much for his years of service. Elmwood Park, and uh, 
if, if, uh, if they didn't make the movie Band of Brothers, I don't think anybody would have known about Jack McGrath, but for some reason, all the uh, young men at the time, World War II, never said anything to anybody about what happened there. And uh, I've asked a lot of questions to, uh, to people who uh, I later found out were in active service there. I know one man, I'm not going to give his name because then everybody would say, why didn't I tell about them? He was the ball gunner on the B-24 at the, near the end of the war, and I, I asked that, that young man uh, if he uh, had any action with uh, Messerschmitts, German Messerschmitts, or any other German fighter planes, uh, and if he shot any down, if he shot at any. And he said, Mayor, the Germans had jets at the end of the war. They came by so fast. I couldn't turn the turret around fast enough to shoot at them, and we just let them go by because they weren't shooting at us and we weren't shooting at them, and that was one of Hitler's major mistakes that he didn't do jets much earlier and then uh, hurt us. But uh, Jack, thank you again. And Pompey, congratulations from all of us. Uh, I hate to say this, but uh, you've got big shoes to fill. I'm sure you're going to do it. He's your mentor. He taught you. I hope he taught you well. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kazmark. Thank you, Mayor. Continuing on the resolution this evening, one, resolution 132-10, be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Allen Park, the following name, Bean is hereby appointed a special law enforcement officer for the year 2010. Class two, Michael Ghetto of Elmwood Park. Motion, please. So moved. Second. Mr. Bosino and Mr. Convoy, discussion, call the roll. Council members Catamania? Yes. Castiglia? Yes. Trowinski? Yes. Monsino? Yes. Work? Yes. Convoy? Yes. Motion carries. Resolution 134-10. Whereas there exists a need for the County of Bergen Office of Emergency Management Department of Public Safety to provide automated telephone alert system here and after call the system to be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and all days per year to the 70 municipalities compromising Bergen County. And whereas P Bergen County Board of Chosen Freeholders adopted resolution number 406 on April 7, 2010, authorizing the county to award a purchase contract to C3 Citizens Communication Center of Nutley, New Jersey, hereafter known as the service provider, to provide the above reference system to those municipalities so desiring. And whereas the municipality wishes to utilize such a system for the benefit of its citizens, and whereas an agreement is necessary to delineate the respective responsibilities of the parties in connection therewith, and whereas the county shall pay 100% of the cost of the installation, installment, testing, and training of the system, 100% of the call fees for emergency calls using the emergency system listed, and non-emergency calls using municipal provided lists. And now therefore be it resolved by the municipality of Elmwood Park that is, we are hereby authorized to enter into an agreement with the County of Bergen to utilize an automated telephone alerting system service at a time during the county's contract period with the service provider, April 7, 2010 through April 6, 2011, with the opportunity for one additional year. Be it further resolved that the mayor of Elmwood Park be and is hereby authorized to execute said agreement in the form to be approved by the municipal attorney. Motion, please. So moved. Second. Moved by Mr. Boncino. Second. Second. Mr. Chewinski, discussion? Call the roll, please. On roll call, council members Catamani? Yes. Castiglia? Yes. Chewinski? Yes. Boncino? Yes. Work? Yes. Convoy? Yes. yes. Motion carries. Resolution 133 10, whereas 711 Incorporated has received. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Excuse me, Mr. Casma. Uh, Mr. Video Man, okay. can you please turn the camera around? I, I should have mentioned this and I forgot. We had uh, uh, some of our, our local firemen come and pay their, their, their honor to Mr. Uh, Jack McGlass and Mr. Pompey Diarco, if you can take a picture of them. Gentlemen, will you please stand? Thank you for attending. What is it? All the firemen out of here. They did. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Chief. Resolution, resolution 133-10, whereas 711 Incorporated has received preliminary and final site plan approval for the property located at 205 Route 46 and Mill Street, known as Lot 2 in Block 1707, and whereas the resolution of approval requires 711 to enter into a developer's agreement with the Borough of Elmwood Park, and whereas the Borough Attorney has reviewed and approved the developer's agreement, which is attached here too. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Mayor, uh, the Mayor and the Borough Clerk are hereby authorized to execute the developer's agreement on behalf of the Borough of Elmwood Park. Motion, please. So moved. Moved by Mr. Who? Second. Mr. Caravaggio, second by 
Larry, sorry. Larry, Mr. Castiglia, discussion. Call the roll, please. On roll call, council members Catamano? Yes. Castiglia? Yes. Chawinski? Yes. Poncino? Yes. Work? Yes. Convoy? Yes. May that concludes the resolutions. We have two. Please. Yes, sir. Can you take this for Pompey tomorrow and get him to sign it? Yes, sir. Before I lose it. May I the reports tonight? We have reports from the municipal court and from the police department. Motion received and filed. So moved. Second. Mr. Uh, Convoy and Mr. Boncino, discussion? Well, uh, all in favor? Opposed, so ordered. And may under applications, we have the St. Leo's raffle license and the Elwood Park Patterson Elks. Motion to approve, Mr. Work. Second. Second, Mr. Convoy. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, so ordered. Committee reports, Mr. Work. Uh, yes, uh, uh, the Elmwood Park Board of is still continuing to offer free clinics. Uh, the next uh, free clinics that are, are coming up are the H1N1 uh, free vaccination clinic. Uh, the dates are May 18, 2010, uh, 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. At the, in the clinic room on the first floor. And the following one will be June 7, 2010, uh, between 4 and 7 in the courtroom. And this is a free H1N1 vaccine uh, for all ages six months and older. And children must be accompanied by a parent and guardian. And pregnant woman must bring a note from a gynecologist decision. And walk-in, no appointment is needed. Uh, they are also offering an adult consultation clinic. Uh, this is a, a health consultation with a registered nurse from Hackensack Hospital in a private clinic room in the municipal building. Uh, they have free, they offer free blood uh, pressure screening and confidential health information is available for adults from 18 years and older. And once again, this is a walk-in, no appointment is needed. Uh, the next dates on that is May 18th of 2010, uh, 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Uh, in the municipal building and June 15th, 2010, 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And uh, the following uh, uh, free clinic is the Child Health Clinic and this is for free immunizations for infants up to 18 years old. Uh, pediatrician and registered nurse are on site. And this is for well, uh, for well children without health insurance coverage and those not enrolled by uh, New Jersey Family Care. And this is by appointment only. You will need to call 20, uh, number 201-996-2038 to make an appointment. And the upcoming dates for that are June 3rd, 2010. Uh, 9.30 to 11 a.m. Thursday, and then on June 7, 2010, 5.30 to 7 p.m. Uh, Monday. And these are, uh, you know, all for free clinics. Anybody, you know, would like to come in. Uh, also, the Board of Health uh, did hold, and I attended it myself, a food handlers course, and this is for all volunteers in the nonprofit organizations in town, such as the baseball leagues, football leagues. And this prepares and you know how to handle the food to be sure it's handled properly, safely. So we're making sure we're taking care of not only the debate the leads for raising the money, but also make sure the food is properly prepared and handled properly. And uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Work. Mr. Convoy. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, first, I'd just like to uh, congratulate Jack uh, for all of his years of service here to the municipality, to our residents. And of course, to all the years of service to our uh, country, we owe him quite a bit. So I want to, when I see him again, I want to congratulate him again. Uh, so again, Jack, thanks for everything. Uh, a couple of things regarding the recreation area. Um, I want to let everybody know, as I have discussed a few times now, we have now offering online registration uh, at the recreation center. Uh, this has been done as a convenience for our parents so that they can get online and register for many events at the recreation. Uh, the, the biggest one coming up right now is summer camp. Um, I believe it's expanded to all of our other functions as well. I'm very happy to report to the mayor and council tonight, this service has been used 100% so far. People are coming in, they're talking about it to the staff at the recreation, saying they love it, and thank God we got it, they're enjoying it, it's making it very easy. Some have done it from work, during their lunch hour, and uh, it's worked out real well. Uh, for the, there's been a one or two for the folks who just want to come in and drop off their check, and the staff has been able to input it right away. This helps them export a lot of data out of the system, so there's not a lot of data entry uh, all the time, and that helps to speed up the office and let them uh, move on to other projects. 
So that's been very helpful. And uh, if you do go to the recreation center, you will see uh, in the first room when you walk in, they've done a very nice job setting up two workstations uh, with full use of computers so that you could get online as well if you don't have access to a computer. So that's working out very nice. I do want to mention to folks, please keep checking your child's backpack. Keep watching for other uh, information. We are having registration for summer camp. We have one of the best summer camps in the area. We're told that all the time, not just by our own residents. Um, other children from the town try to get into our summer camp. And uh, this is for our residents only. They do a great job. Uh, and it is one of the cheapest in the area as well. And we've discussed this at numerous uh, meetings and uh, uh, viewing other towns. This is a great program for our residents. Please do not forget to sign up for uh, summer camp. We need your input to get uh, summer camp rolling so we can uh, make sure we have an another successful camp. Just want to remind all the residents too, coming up is Community Day, Saturday, June 5th. Our rec director continues to do a great job in planning a great Community Day. Every year it gets bigger and better and enjoyable for all the folks. I believe it'll also be the, an the second annual policemen's versus firemen's softball game later in the evening. Uh, so come on out and enjoy a great Community Day. A lot of great events have already been posted, so get involved, folks. Come out and enjoy Community Day. Uh, I'd also just like to, right now, just want to wish all the moms who see this Happy Mother's Day, and thanks, everybody, for coming tonight. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Convoy. Mr. Vaughncino? Yes, Mayor. Uh, I, too, would like to uh, thank uh, Jack McGrath for his uh, years of service to our community and to our country, and also congratulate uh, Pompey on his uh, appointment this evening. Um, on the energy front, uh, the New Jersey SEM uh, will be going out to bid for um, the electric service, and the strike price was set at 5% uh, below the uh, basic generation service uh, price. So uh, that was a no-brainer to opt in for that. The uh, auction will occur between uh, uh, probably uh, this week and, and late next week, and it'll go out in, in two portions. The, uh, the lighting, the, the street lighting, traffic lighting will be we auctioned separately. So I'll probably have some news in about a month on the results of that auction. And um, on the, uh, the second uh, part of the energy uh, program, we did a PSE&G audit at the end of last year. Uh, we decided to proceed with the recommendations of the audit because there will be considerable savings and uh, actually a positive cash flow uh, by implementing the changes that PSE&G recommended. Uh, there were a number of cutbacks in the program uh, in the state because the, um, the Board of Public Utilities Clean Energy Program was cut back this year. But I'm happy to report that uh, our municipal facilities uh, made the cut and probably sometime in the summer we'll get specifics on, on the scheduling of those upgrades to our buildings. And uh, a final point on the Ambulance Corps, uh, you may see around town they put into service a first responder vehicle. And uh, that vehicle is essentially an ambulance without the ability to transport. And it'll be used uh, as a staging vehicle at fires and, 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 and emergency scenes and also standbys. It'll have all the equipment that you would need uh, to initiate uh, first aid without having to tie up uh, an ambulance. And so you may see that around town. And also their uh, beefsteak comedy night fundraiser is this Saturday, 7.30 at the VFW. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Catamania. Yes, sir. Thank you. <coughs> First of all, I'd like to congratulate uh, Mr. Darko for his opposition and thank uh, Mr. McGrath for his long service to our uh, borough. And the last uh, uh, the, uh, Board of Education meeting I was unable to attend, but I understand they have uh, no superintendent, Mr. Tanko. And also, the electoral president, Jennifer Pellegrini, and Vice President, Ms. Perna. Um, a few days ago, our personal committee met, uh, Mr. Work, Ms. Convoy, and I, and Mr. Our attorney. Um, we, why don't you have an Italian name? I have to make it different. Uh, Gilman, 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 okay. Uh, we met and we interviewed four applicants, and I hope tonight we'll make a decision. Uh, this was to replace Mr. Ciro, uh, they retired on April 30th, uh, the tax assessor. Thank you, man. Thank you. Mr. Chawinski? 
Uh, yes. I'd like also to say uh, thank you to Jack for all his service to Elmwood Park, East Patterson, and his country <laughs> <laughs> for many years. And congratulations to uh, Pompey Diarco. I'm sure he'll do a fine job. I attended the uh, county freeholder meeting last night. And just so you people know where your money is being spent, I'm going to bring again copies of all the county expenditures here. For instance, right now you have one for, I don't know what, the, what these Dell computers are, but every meeting I go to, I see fifty-nine dollars to $60,000 worth of Dell computers going out the door here for bid. I don't understand that one. But there's a bunch more in here you'd be interested just to look at for your own sake, just to see where your county money and tax dollars are going. Uh, on another note, you, we know uh, to the town we are in the process of raising our parking ticket fines from 27 or $29 up to $47 or $49. We happen to be one of the lowest in the county, and it's time we do raise them. Uh, let's see. The GIF meeting I attended last month, uh, last end of the last April, it seems that the, um, the past month before that, we have a, a high rate of uh, workmen's comp claims. They have increased dramatically. and. Uh, there will be more safety programs put in effect by the GIF committee to try and curb this. And the other last item, I think, was the county approved solar panels for some of the buildings. And that's it, Mayor. Thank you, sir. Mr. Uh, uh, Castiglia? Thank you, Mayor. Yeah, I had mentioned uh, earlier the Van Riper culvert, uh, the rebuilding down there. It's uh, the lowest bidder on that was a company called Concrete Construction. And that job is due to start uh, the beginning of June. Martina and Son got the Kip Avenue uh, Phase 2 job. That one is due to start, I believe, in about two weeks. Then it'll be scheduled to start in about two weeks. Uh, that's a new water main under the road, a resurfacing of the roadway from St. Anne, uh, from Ann Street to uh, Miles Street. It's community development block grant. Uh, I, re I received a few calls from residents. They were asking me about Big garbage week, where you, where you put out, clean up your garage and put out, uh, I had called Scott, he's the superintendent of DPW, he's in the back of the room. I believe we used to call it spring cleanup week. We chose like a week in May and we, we put out, uh, like I said, garbage cleanup, you know, out of your garage or your basement. Well, Scott informed me, the garbage collectors, they take that any time of year now, so we don't have to do that anymore. On Thursdays. Right. So you put it out on Thursday, it saves us a lot of money by not sending another truck out to do that. and. Uh, it's a good thing to know. That's Thursdays now. You put out your big garbage, stuff like that on Thursday. I think I mentioned that once before. Uh, let's see. I also have a meeting with Scott next week. We're going to be talking about the tree, the tree plant, uh, planting program. He's got three quotes in now from three different nurseries. And uh, I'll be stopping over there. We'll be talking it over and see, see what we're going to do, what we're going to decide on with that. One more thing, the planning board. We had a work meeting last night. I guess everybody knows Angelo's Pizzeria now over on Market Street. The, the, the store right next to him is still vacant. He owns both stores. He's going to be opening up as a bakery. Now, uh, there was a bakery in that building before, so there shouldn't be a problem with it. Uh, and from what I understand, baking is actually what, it, what his trade was. He was in here last night talking to us. So uh, if his pastries are going, to be, are going to be as good as his pizza, you know, I'm, I'm getting really excited about it. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. Thank, Thank you. you. Mr. Giblin? Got a report, Thank you. Uh, I'd just like to extend a uh, public uh, thank you to the Markel Company. Uh, last week they, were, they had 122 people out there, volunteers from the, uh, uh, the Markel plant, uh, cleaning along the river bank and uh, the roads and, uh, on River Road, not River Drive. River Drive is the one that goes from Fairlawn all the way down to, uh, to uh, Garfield. River Road is the, uh, the slight right turn in front of the barn and goes around the backside of Markel. They, they did an excellent job cleaning that area. Uh, Mr. Cars, how many bags of, of garbage? About 50, 75 bags of garbage they, they filled up, and they're going to try to keep that clean. They're, they're working around the entire perimeter of the building to help us out. And one of the other things they did is they gave us some, uh, some trees that we're planting along the railroad tracks where the commuters are. Uh, to help uh, um, muffle the sound of the train going by, if that's possible, but we'll plant uh, those trees there. And we planted a tree on the corner in a triangle uh, next to uh, uh, Marginal Road and uh, Birchwood. 
It is an elm tree. We're trying to plant elm trees. I asked them specifically to see if they can give us an elm tree. They got what they call a Princeton American elm tree, which is a disease-resistant elm. A couple of years ago, uh, there was a blight on, on elm trees from Washington, D.C., all the way up to uh, New England, and decimated uh, quite a few elms. So they, they worked on this uh, disease-resistant elm, and our superintendent and his, uh, his uh, workers planted this tree in that triangle. Hopefully, we'll, we'll get more elms, and we'll keep elm in Elmwood Park. Uh, we're working on a budget. I thought Mr. Conboy would mention it, but we're working on the budget. Um, there are some savings that are coming in. I just want you to know it's not only this year that we're saving. It's been the, over the years people have been leaving, and we've, uh, we haven't replaced them. So that's coming in, uh, as Mr. Conboy will probably indicate to you at the next meeting. That's helping us. But we're moving down the bare bones the way it is. Um, uh, the council is going to be talking to uh, the various uh, departments about salary contracts, uh, DPW, uh, the white collar, and, uh, and the police soon. So that's another thing we have to look at at this time. Mr. Uh, Castiglia mentioned uh, Kip Avenue. They're going to be, I'm hoping, putting the pipe in, the water pipe, into Kip Avenue and connecting it starting in June. And hopefully when that's done in August, we'll be paving that section of Kip Avenue, that is a community development fund. That's a federal uh, grant, so we're not paying for that. Uh, Molnar Drive will be paved in and around June. Uh, as much as on, of uh, Molnar Drive as we can pave with the money we've received, and then we'll put in for it next year what we what's left over. Uh, and the culvert that Mr. Uh, Castiglia mentioned on uh, on uh, Van Riper Avenue, uh, that should start in June. And that is the last culvert in Elmwood Park. We have eight culverts. Once this is done, they'll all be replaced. And uh, that's helped us tremendously with the flow of water and keeping floods down in our community. However, every time we think we have that problem licked, we get a major rainstorm and uh, we have some flooding going on. Uh, gentlemen, I, I did attend a meeting and Mr. Kazmark was there with Mr. Tenkate in the county talking about the water problem in Saddlebrook and Fairlawn and how they uh, plan to uh, remedy that problem, get the water out of uh, Fairlawn and, and uh, Saddlebrook and give it to us. I don't know where we're going on it. We, we stayed there for, Keith, about an hour or so, and they've got so much work they have to do uh, in, in Fairlawn and Saddlebrook. I don't know when they'll get to us, but uh, please keep in mind that uh, uh, I'm defending our collective no water in Elmwood Park unless we get some work done on the brook. They, they were talking about possibly piping it uh, along the, uh, uh, the waterworks property and down to, uh, to the river. And then they also indicated that maybe they would go over Washington Avenue. And I told them we're planning to get Washington repaved now. And they're not going to dig it up and put another pipe through there. And, uh, you know, just, just having traveled the markets uh, uh, River Drive so often, th I, I did tell them that if they do pipe it and they come out to River Drive at Washington Avenue or the marina, that's where we flood. So I don't know how the water is going to go through the pipe and then into the river when the river is backed up sometimes a, 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 a small portion of, of Washington Avenue. I don't know how they're going to push it. There. So what I'm basically saying is, is they've got a lot of work to do, and uh, <coughs> I'm defending Elmwood Park, uh, as, I, as I've indicated before. And one last thing, they've indicated to us that, that they would like to keep it open, maybe not pipe it. And gentlemen, uh, what happens is when you keep it open and you have a, a, uh, an open area, it gets clogged, it gets snagged, you have to go in and keep cleaning it. That will be done every five years. It's not going to solve the problem. If they're going to spend the money, spend the money, pipe it, and once and for all it's done. Uh, we have a problem getting in de-snagging along uh, the, the Fleischer Brook. Our, our DPW superintendent does a good job there, and we call the county in to help us out with the Mosquito Commission. So just by Keeping in the open like that is not going to solve the problem. Another 10, 20, 30 years, we'll be back doing that. Uh, I think that that's it. Thank you. Uh, anyone in the audience uh, wishes to be heard? 
Anyone wish to be heard, please go to the microphone and give your name and address. If not, I'd like to close the public portion of the meeting and uh, ask for a uh, motion to adjourn. Uh, Mayor, we do need to go into executive session, if I could read the resolution. Okay. Whereas the Public Meetings Act, PL 1975, Chapter 231, permits the exclusion of the public from a meeting in certain circumstances, and whereas this public body is of the opinion that such circumstances presently exist, and whereas the governing body wishes to discuss personnel in the tax assessor's office, minutes will be kept, and once that matter involving the confidentiality of the above no longer requires that confidentiality, then the minutes can be made public. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the public be excluded from this meeting. Mayor, we need a motion and a second. To motion, to second. please. So moved. Second. Mr. Boncino and Mr. Convoy, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And, and may I just conclude my report? I mentioned Kip Avenue. Kip Avenue is uh, federal money that we're getting. Mama Drive is state money that we're getting. And the culvert is county money that we're getting. So we have three major projects uh, in town. And uh, I don't have the numbers with me. At the next meeting, I'll give you the total that uh, we've gotten from that. So thank you very much, and thank you for attending. We appreciate it.